factoring sum and difference of two cubes. This is an example of sum of two cubes. This is also an example of difference of two cubes. To factor sum of two cubes, find the cube root of the first term and the second term. The cube root of x cubed is x and the cube root of y cubed is y. From this factor, you square the first term. Then you write the opposite of the product of the first and second term. Then you square the second term. y times y is y squared. x cubed plus 8. The cube root of x cubed is x plus the cube root of 8 is 2. Then from this factor, you square the first term. Then you write the opposite of the product of the first and second term. Then you square the second term. 27x cubed is 3x plus 64y cubed is 4y. Again, from this factor, you square the first term. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Then you multiply this, 3x times 4y is 12xy, then you write the opposite, 12xy plus 4y times 4y is 16y squared. 125x cubed is 5x plus 216 is just 6 cubed, so the cube root of 216 is 6. Then from this factor, you square the first term. Then you write the opposite of the product of the first and second term. Then you square the second term. Now we are going to factor the difference of two cubes. Cube root of the first term minus cube root of the second term then from this factor you square the first term then you write the opposite of the product of the first and second term then you square the second term this is x cubed minus 343 343 is 7 cubed the cube root of x cubed is x minus cube root of 3, 4, 3 is 7. Now from this factor, you square the first term. Then you write the opposite of the product of the first and second term. Then you square the second term. 5, 1, 12 is just equal to 8 cubed. So the cube root of 5, 1, 12 x cubed is... 8x minus 729 is 9 cubed. The cube root of 729 is 9. From this factor, you square the first term. Then you write the opposite of the product of the first and second term plus 72x. Then square the second term. Number 8, this is 10 cubed, so the cube root of 1000 is 10, minus cube root of 1 8 is 1 half, x cubed is x, then from this factor you square the first term, then write the opposite of the product of the first and second term. 10 divided, divided by 2 is 5. You have 5x. Then square the second term. 1 fourth x squared.